Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. First and foremost, I want to apologize for the quality of this video. I am obviously recording from my laptop as I am currently charging my phone, uh, which has much better quality. Um, but I've just been extremely busy all day. It's been literally impossible. And it seems like one thing after the other, it's just obstacle after obstacle trying to get these uh, videos for you guys out there. But I definitely made it my mission and I am trying to uh, do this as I'm actually preparing to do a lot of spell work for tonight. But I definitely wanted to get this, you know, get the ball rolling since we are celebrating May the 1st. Um, so anyways, let's get into your reading. I've already shuffled and cut the deck uh, just for time purposes. So let's get right into it. Again, like I said, this mess, or not this message, but overall, this video is for cancers, my lovely cancer, sun, moon, and rising. So let's get right into it. How you will be communicating with other people and those surrounding you for the month of May 2018 with communication or on your communication sector. You have the Eight of Cups. So weird because I was shuffling earlier and this card actually popped out. Um, so the Eight of Cups is definitely walking away from past relationships or past connections that are no longer serving you. Uh, this could also represent uh, being able to, uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're kind of lingering thoughts about either travel or moving, moving to a different state or a different country. Uh, eight of cups as a communication is definitely talking about, um, there may be some type of connection from a person, specifically a person from the past that may reach out to you, um, that perhaps walked out of you or walked out of your life at some point in your life, um, and kind of never gave you an ending or, a goodbye more than anything. So, cause I'm definitely connecting the eight of cups with a lot of emotion. Um, but I feel that this is connected to, to the past. So for some of you guys, you may experience for the month of May that a person from the past kind of comes back into your life, um, and tries to communicate. And this is a person that emotions are run very deep, um, perhaps because there was never closure. Um, so I definitely do see that playing out for the month of May for you guys, in regards to your earth, um, to the element of earth and your finances, you have the devil card here. Wow. Uh, this is a shadow side in this card or in this deck. Um, the shadow side definitely speaks about a Capricorn. So it could be that uh, in regards to your finances, you may be <clears throat> having some type of connection with a Capricorn or getting financial advice from a Capricorn um, this could be both male or female, but I feel that this is a very prominent type of energy in your life. Um, this could be perhaps, uh, that you cancer were the one that walked away from a relationship in the past, uh, with a Capricorn and perhaps it's actually you that reaches out to them. Nonetheless, I feel that it more than anything, um, for those of you guys that are trying to revisit some type of romance, I feel that this person probably moved on already. Um, nonetheless, I do feel that there was a lot of things that were left unsaid. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with, you know, wanting pretty much to close that chapter or to turn the page, so to speak. Um, for those of you guys, it could be for some of you guys that run your own business. Um, you're connected or partnering up with a Capricorn or you're inspired by a Capricorn, something that's connected to a Capricorn for sure for most of you guys. Nonetheless, I feel that again, like I said, if it is revisiting the past, I don't feel that they are going to be as available. Um, I feel that it's just for being able to move on purposes that they may communicate or that you may want to communicate with them. Nonetheless, um, Okay, so I'm getting different scenarios. For some of you guys, if you guys were in a relationship or some type of connection with a Capricorn, it was you the one that walked away. It could be that you decide for the month of May to actually reach out or be vulnerable or be open about your true feelings for this person. Nonetheless, if it was you the one that walked away, I feel that they've already moved on. Um, but it's going to serve them well because it's going to give them that ending or um, that closure that was needed or that they felt that they deserved. If this was you that, you know, was giving to a Capricorn and it was the Capricorn that walked away, they're definitely reaching out to you for the month of May. But I feel that again, you've either already turned the page, um, but it's also going to serve you well because it is bringing you closure as well. Okay. So in regards to your fire element with the challenge for the month of May, wow. 
Okay, so you have the Two of Cups here. The Two of Cups as a challenge. Obviously, there's no challenge there. Um, I feel that the challenge for May 2018 for Cancers, the message is very strong, and the message is if you feel you need to speak up because you are borderline about to lose a partner or you may feel that they've already, they're already moving on or they may be moving on. Speak your truth. Say what you got to say. Get it off your chest. Get it, get it off your heart. Um, because at least you'll know that you spoke what you had to say. You said your piece. And if there is still true connection there, then let, let it happen organically. Do not let people from the past or people that you're currently dealing with, if you are currently dealing with or actually dating a Capricorn, do not allow them to walk away from a relationship feeling like you didn't care for them or you didn't love them. Uh, because as a challenge, the two of cups is basically challenging you to be vulnerable and to be completely honest with your feelings. Um, and again, like I said, if you guys are at the breaking point, where it's no longer working and it's about to pretty much end, at least you can, you know, for your own safekeeping or well-being, know that at least you try to the very end, okay? Um, for others of you, the Two of Cups is definitely telling you to be mindful about leading people on um, or allowing them to think, a certain way about you when you're the total opposite. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being vulnerable. There's absolutely nothing wrong with showing your true feelings and showing your emotions. Sometimes that is necessary. Um, so understand that and take that message for what it is. Okay. Whether it's you, uh, that was a bit manipulative or whether it was the partner, if there is some type of resentment there, when they do reach out to you, um, if you still feel that type of resentment or hurt, uh, speak on it, not for anything other than to finally say your piece and be able to detach yourself and move on. Okay. So finally your spirits message, the message that spirits trying to give to you is the queen of swords. So the queen of swords is definitely telling you as a overall message, be very mindful, uh, how you communicate, um, and know and understand that sometimes even if, you speak a certain way because you're trying to get a certain type of message or a certain type of persona across. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm feeling with the queen of swords that there is, it's almost like you're leading them on or you're leading someone on to think a certain way, a certain image about you. That is the total opposite. And perhaps the reason why you're doing that is out of fear because you don't want to end up being hurt. But if you do not be completely honest, not just with them, but with yourself, you may be missing out on true genuine love because the two of cups is here present in the reading. So this is definitely talking about, uh, you know, a soul type of connection, but in that you have to always understand and remember that when, sometimes when we, when we're guarded and when we try to protect our heart, sometimes we are protecting the other person from experiencing our true genuine self. And when that happens, um, again, like I said, you might miss out on something great. So take the message for what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other soon. Okay. Bye.